when Lisa Holmesaglia got word that police in Seabrook, New Hampshire, had recovered her pocketbook, she was a bit confused. Well, at first I thought, no, they don't, because my pocketbook's in the kitchen. <laughs> and then it did cross my mind. I said, well, I did have a purse stolen in Seabrook. Stopping by to pick it up, she couldn't believe her eyes. And when I walked in and the cop walked out with this bag, I was stunned. <laughs> the same black leather purse stolen in 2002. Right before Christmas, from a shopping cart as Lisa loaded presents into her car for a family in need. Literally everything, it's almost like a time capsule. Everything is the same with the exception of the large amount of cash. So where's the stolen purse been all these years? No clue, but we do know where it ended up. I was collecting trash and I happened to see in there and there was a lady's purse. Bo Haynes, an associate at Market Basket, found it in a trash bin in the parking lot and turned it in. My wallet, which is completely you know, plenty of receipts from the Christmas shopping I had obviously done. Her wallet and credit cards, mail, bills, checkbook, work ID, an old cell, cell phone, phone and a pager, oh, no. everything intact. Four dollars in cash that they missed. <laughs> Four dollars. Four dollars floating around the bottom. Leaving Lisa with more questions and answers. I would love to know where it was or why someone kept it for as long as they did. There was a lot of little things that had to go just right for it to get back to me. So there, there's some reason for it, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> In Seabrook, New Hampshire, Jorge Quiroga, WCVB News Center 5.